Hello, it's Ugg here, and I thought today I would do a quick guide on how to strip out a reactor level 2 from a javelin. I've been playing this game for absolutely ages now and I've done no guides to it, so I thought I would just give you a quick explanation of all the bits of the reactor and how to safely remove it. Now some of these ships vary in the way the reactor is, but the reactor always has three bits, or the level 2 reactor always has three bits. You've got the engine, You've got the actual reactor itself, which is inside its housing at the moment. And you've also got the ECU, which is the cooling unit for the reactor. So basically, this keeps this cool. This provides fuel to this thing. So if you look at the pipes, you can see you've got the, the pipe there, which is basically pumping coolant fluid to the reactor. And then the reactor passes fuel over to the engine. And now what you can do, if you want, is you can pop that lever over there everyone's got a lever every one of these things has a lever on it some have multiple levers if you switch it there is a chance that you when it's venting the fuel because that basically vents the fuel out of it it will actually cause the thing to explode and go crazy and blow up the whole thing see yeah there's a way of sorting out that obviously the ECU, if all the, um, if all the coolant units are taken out of that thing, then it stops providing coolant to the reactor and it overheats and it will go mad. So, what you need to do is when you take one of these things apart, so you need to strip this, you need to basically just strip all this stuff off. Right, be careful you don't just fire it into the, um, fire off in space. Okay, so what you do is you just clip all this stuff. I'm not being very careful with this stuff at the moment. I'm just going to get rid of it. Just fire it off into a reactor and stuff. I don't really care about it. You know? Right. So you strip all that stuff off and you obviously throw it into the correct place, the processor. Or wherever. Right, so now you've got your exposed reactor. Still hooked up to all the stuff that it needs to be hooked up to. Right, so the way I will do this, right, is I will go in here and I will open up the cooling unit because what you want in here is you want to get the um, the coolant jars. They've got little coolant canisters, so you can pop out a single coolant canister, but you keep it on the end of your, your grabber, your grabbing noodle. Now what you can do, if you think you find something like here, you give it a little smack. It's like there you go. Perfectly done as always, right? So you've got a coolant cannon that's going a bit feral now. That's fine. What you do is you bring it over to here and you just push it onto your onto your coolant pipes. And you just get rid of that thing. And then basically your engine's all cooled off. So this this pipe isn't gonna burst into flames, so you just pop that. You got it, and then that thing's loose and it's completely safe. And you just send it off to the barge. There you go. By doing that, you buy yourself another five pips of time on the reactor cooldown because the reactor has a cooldown when it like gets unplugged, how long it takes to explode. So basically, you're making it more stable when it explodes or when it gets pulled out. It doesn't explode. You don't want it to explode. So there we go. So then what you need to do, this is the final step now, so if I was just to yank this out without disconnecting the coolant, the coolant might go a little bit crazy and stuff like that, so there could be problems with the ECU. So what you do is you just literally go in here and you just pick up these things. Now you've got to have your route planned when you do this, so have your route planned, have this thing ready to roll. Okay, because when, when you pull these coolant cans out, it's going to blow. Okay, so here we go, that's all you do is you grab these little silver cans out of the back of it. Oh, he says, gotta be closer. Right, you just pop them out and just pick it up. And the same thing here, you just pop it out. Right, as you can see, it's gone crazy now, but because we've done it safely, you've got like 15 little white pips there. So as you can see, the class two reactors ready to come out. So you just grab it. There you go. Gently manipulate the beast. And you can tether it down, you can fire it down. I'm going to tether it down because that's a responsible thing to do. There you go. And it goes uh, off to the reactor. Or not the reactor, the barge. And you get much money. They're worth a load of cash. So, and that's how you do it. And then you can just chop all this stuff off. 
safe to do now. It's all nice and decom, so you can just cut away. It's like, cut off that coolant pipe, get rid of all that stuff, and then you can just pop your ECU out. ECU, uh, the best way to get rid of it is you just burn it around the back here. And then you can just cut it, cut a hole in it, like out here. So let me just do it quickly. You can use the big cutty thing. One time you'll be actually be able to successfully make some decent cuts of this thing. And you just cut a hole in the side here. Is that really come out? There you go. That bit's off now. And just pop that off because it's nothing tethery in anymore. Put it back, and then you've got that. And these are worth a pretty penny as well. There you go. Send it on its way. And there you go. And that's how you get a um, that's how you get a level a level two reactor out. So if you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification. It really helps the channel out. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.